What if your CRM could push deals forward instead of just sitting there collecting dust? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where we deep dive into the world of AI and sales. Today I am reviewing Pipedrive, the CRM built by salespeople for salespeople. In the next 8-10 minutes, I will walk you through what it makes it tick, where it shines and where it stumbles and whether it deserves a spot in your tech stack. Let's go. So first things first, what is Pipedrive? Pipedrive is a cloud-based CRM and sales pipeline management system focused squarely on helping sales teams keep deals moving forward, manage contacts, forecast revenue, and automate routine tasks. Unlike some CRMs bloated with features in all directions, Pipedrive keeps a clear focus on the sales funnel, leads, deals, activities, and the steps in between. As of recent, Pipedrive claims to support 1 lakh plus companies in 175 plus countries. Its design is very initial, intuitive, visual, drag and drop pipelines, color cues, deal slipping warnings, cues that you can see at a glance. And it's extensible. Pipedrive has a marketplace of integrations and add-ons for lead generation, chat, automation, email and more. Okay, that's the big picture. But how does Pipedrive help you sell more? Let's zoom into the features you as a sales user care about. First, pipeline and deal management, your bread and butter. Visual pipelines, you can create multiple pipelines, customize stages and drag your deals forward. The interface nudges you when a deal isn't updated or is about to go cold. Each deal card can show value, expected close date, probability and custom fields you define. Also, you can link activities like calls, emails, meetings, tasks to deals so you see what's next at glance. Second, activity and task management or reminders. Pipedrive gives you an activities module. Schedule calls, follow-ups, meetings, deadlines. You get reminders in your app or mobile or even in your email. Third, email integration and tracking. On mid or higher plans, Pipedrive supports two-way email sync. You can connect your email inbox so that inbound or outbound correspondence is automatically linked to deals or contacts. You also get email tracking like open, click, and templates on applicable plans. Fourth, workflow automations and sequences. Pipedrive lets you define triggers like, you know, the actions when a deal moves to proposal send, send a follow-up email after X days, assign task, update field, etc. And fifth, forecasting, reporting, analytics. For managers or leaders, Pipedrive offers dashboards, custom reports on deals, activities, conversion rates, pipeline, and their velocity, and also revenue forecasting reviews. You can filter by rep, pipeline, time period, or custom fields. And finally, we have the lead generation and add-ons. While Pipedrive score is sales CRM, it has optional add-ons for lead gen. First is the lead booster, like you have the chatbot, live chat, forms, and even scheduler. Then we have web visitors. It identifies companies browsing your website. Then we have campaigns, like the email campaigns module. We also have smart dogs, email signatures, or codes in some plans or add-ons. All right, let's talk about money. What does Pipedrive cost, and is it worth it? It comes with four plans. The light plan is at $14 per user per month. It has basic pipeline, leads and calendar, real-time sales feed, 500 plus integrations, A plus powered report creation. Then we have the growth plan. It is at $39 per user per month. Everything in light plus full email sync with tracking, automations and nurturing sequences, subscription and forecast reports, meeting scheduler, contacts timeline, and live chat support. Next, we have the premium plan. It is at $59 per user per month. It adds in lead generation and routing, customer scoring and company data enrichment, AI-powered multi-email tools, contracts and e-signatures, enhanced customization for teams, reports, and data fields. Finally, we have the ultimate plan at $79 per user per month. It gives you the full suit, everything in premium, plus fortified account security, phone and email data enrichment, sandbox testing account, extended phone support, and other enterprise level capabilities. Now for the fun and honest part, where Pipedrive shines and where it falters. Let's put it in a pro con table. First, some pros. The pipeline view makes it extremely easy to see status and next steps. 
Many users praise it as being usable from day one. It is focused on sales workflow. It doesn't overcomplicate with marketing modules or site features. It's built for deal progress and revenue. It's good for automation and integration. It has very good ecosystem for that. The ability to automate and hook into many apps makes it extensible. There are scalable tiers and modular add-ons. You can start small and scale features. Solid support and community. Many users point out responsive customer support and a rich knowledge base. Now, time for some cons. The cheapest plan may be too limited, like there is missing email sync, automations reporting, pushes you towards higher tiers. Add-ons can escalate cost. What looked cheap might become expensive. The marketing campaign depth is limited compared to dedicated marketing platforms. The reporting or custom analytics may be constrained unless you are in a higher tier. The data model is limited, less flexibility for custom object types beyond people, organizations, deals. And a key con, depending on your region, local pricing plus taxes might make pipe drive costlier than expected. So when you click that subscription page, factor those in. That's my pipe drive review. If your goal is to move deals ahead systematically, avoid slip ups and build a reliable pipeline, pipe drive is a great fit, but don't fall for pray to cheap plan trap. Ensure you get email sync plus automations plus usable reporting. Start with a trial or mid-tier if you can afford it. Monitor your usage of features and upgrade only if necessary. If you hit walls like reporting, custom object needs, cross-tool marketing, then reevaluate your CRM options. Overall, I would give it a 7 out of 10. What do you think? Is there a CRM you are in love with? Let me know in the comments. Hit like if this helped, subscribe for more reviews and I will see you in the next one. Happy selling!